Hey guys, Ricardo here and welcome to another Vlog Tech Tips. Here we have the Samsung TV guys. I'll show you to set this up for the first time. After turning on your TV for the first time, you'll see a welcome screen. Then you'll be faced with this screen. Alright, so what you'll need out of the box, you'll need your remote. Make sure that you install the two um, AAA batteries. And of course, once you do, this should be your remote. You're going to follow the on-screen guide. So it says here, two simple options. How would you like to start and you should choose one? You know this is the newest 2025 edition of the TV with the Tizen operating system from Samsung which is very similar to your phone's operating system if you ever use a Samsung Galaxy. Alright, so it says one, do you want to use your smartphone, quick and easy, or remote control, step by step. For this tutorial, we will use the um, remote seeing that it's easily available. Alright, so it says use accessibility function, simply press and hold mute. Now, of course, on your latest remote, you should find the mute button here. You can see the mute symbol as well. So it is this button. I'm going to press and hold. Notice the red buttons. And there you go. All right. Accessibility so shortcuts. 17 items. Voice guide. Off. All right. So some of these are the features. We're going to turn on the ones you want. So are the description. Audio description off. Disable. We do not want that, so we're going to keep it off. High contrast off. We do not want eye contrast. Be careful of these. This would make the text very um, bold. Zoom menu, Zoom we're going to keep it off. Grayscale. Gray scale off. All right. Color inversion off. We do not want color inversion as well. It will um, cause the colors to be um, inverted. Our blacks will become white and white will become black. You do not want to turn any of these on. See color. Caption. All right. Position. Um, you Position. may want to turn on captions, but that's your Caption option. Off. But be very careful with these options as these are advanced options that can cause issues. So trouble nothing in this area, I'm recommending unless you need something very specific. You're gonna press the arrow over, then you're gonna click close. Alright. We're gonna choose step by step. It says um, connect your devices to your screen. Simple plug and turn your devices you want um, to use with your screen when you're ready. We will move on to the next step. Sorry. Here, it's for your TV to configure your TV. If you have one of those, you can do that. You can connect your HDMI, it's just your PlayStation and video games or whatever it is. If you don't have anything, you can just go ahead and um, go next. Retail mode would be for the shop. So we're looking for home, so we're gonna hit next. All right, to show you the one to connect any devices to your screen, automatically to any device you connect. Now we're going to connect this just to access the smart features such as to do YouTube, Netflix or whatever you may want. So I'm going to say OK. Alright, so here it will scan for your Wi-Fi. Alright, so I'm going to quickly connect to my Wi-Fi network and once I do, I am going to continue. Alright. Alright. So once you're here guys, um, go ahead and hit oh, go when you enter the password. Notice also there is a skip option up here. Alright, so we have connected. Now the second step. Terms and conditions and privacy policy. It has to do with your TV and of course legal stuff. Alright, so you're gonna check the one that's um, necessary. So talk about viewing information services and about interest-based advertisements. Alright. There's an option to skip as well. So if you want a smart hub, they do want you to agree to the advertisement stuff, so I'm just going to OK. Alright, smart features, you can set these up as well. This is one of the main features of the TV, to have the smart um, features. Also set these up later, so we're gonna hit later. Right. You can 
sign you just set up a Samsung account or use one that you have. I'm gonna use later. Also for the latest version of the software, so we're gonna next we're connected to the network. So we'll give it our time to search for the information and try to connect. Alright, you can skip these. Alright, so here you can set a pin and the pin is for security purposes. So, of course, for certain things, it will ask you for the pin. Alright, so we're gonna just set a pin. You can always um, make sure it's one that you'll remember. Alright, so here it asks you to select your TV source. Again, if you have a source, you can connect it such as a cable, satellite box, antenna. If you have a manual antenna for over the air broadcast. Of course, we're gonna use our smart TV. Just say no broadcast signal, not really necessary. All right, so we'll need next. So here we go, this is the home, and of course it says explore your favorite content and quick and easy. So as you see here, you are now in the menu. Some things will require signing in, but you do see you have the main ones, such as Netflix, Prime Video, and YouTube. And of course, there is the sidebar up here, home, there's settings. And of course, there's the apps up at the top there. All right, if you have any, you have to sign in as well. But of course, you can always exit to go back home to the main screen. Alright, so you do get the idea. So, this is the general um, Samsung interface of the Tizen. So, I'm going to end the uh, setup here. And of course, you can now use the device. Alright, that's all I've got from Black Active. Same bye until next time. Bye.